Right here, these are my football lilies which are blooming quite well. The size of the pot is 10 inch and here I have planted many bulbs. Most of them are blooming at the same time and because of that, the pot is looking quite attractive. There are few unmatured bulbs which are yet to bloom. So this is one of the best ways to grow football lily. We can easily plant 4 to 6 bulbs in a 10 inch pot for a much attractive look. I am going to discuss everything about football lilies in this video so that after watching the video you are not going to have any doubts about football lilies. First important note, what is the best time to grow football lily? Like most of the lilies, football lilies bloom only once per year and in my place they start to bloom from May onwards. Please note, timing may be different based on your place and we can start planting them from April and onwards. We can also plant them anywhere before September to October as they bloom even in September October too. For example, here is a footage from September. Second important note, what to do after flowering. For me, I am going to keep them as it is in the same pot. You can also repot them in a bigger pot so that they can produce more new bulbs. Here is one footage after 12 days. As you can see, the blooms are already spent. At this stage, we can also cut the flowering spikes, but it's not necessary. From now onwards, they are going to produce foliage which look attractive too. Foliage grow quite fast. Again, here is a footage after 27 days. The leaves are getting bigger as we can see. Third important note, what potting soil mix should be used? I usually do it this way. Normal garden soil 40%, cocoa peat 30% and rest 30% vermicompost. Fourth important note, how to plant the bulbs? Here are the three bulbs as you can see. While planting, please remember, pointed end up and flat part down. Also keep the soil line to the neck of the bulbs. That's it, quite easy and straightforward. Fifth important note, what about the sunlight? Filtered sunlight is preferred and when they start to bloom, please protect them from direct sunlight at any cost or else flowers are going to wilt very soon. But at this stage, if we provide either filtered sunlight or even direct sunlight for 2-3 to three hours, it's okay. In fact, indirect sunlight would be also okay. Next important note, is this really important to dig out the bulbs in dormancy time means in winter. In winter, foliage are going to die something like this. At this time, if you like, you can dig out the bulbs and store them for the next year. If you do, please be very careful. The roots are poisonous. Here is how you can store the bulbs for the next year. It's absolutely not necessary to dig out the bulbs unless you don't want to use the same pot to grow other plants or if there is any space related issue at your home. We can let them stay as it is. Seventh important note, how to fertilize. In case you want the foliage to grow well so that they can produce more bulbs much sooner, feed them once in 25 to 30 days at this stage. We can apply 6 to 8 DAP crystals for 1 8 to 10 inch pot. Here I am doing the same thing. Instead of this, we can also apply 50 to 70 grams vermicompost once a month. Please note any balanced fertilizer is okay. But if you grow like this pot, means growing lots of bulbs in a single pot, there is no need to feed them too frequently and feeding them once in 3 to 4 months is fine. This is the same thing I have been doing for this pot. But like I said earlier, you can obviously shift them to a much larger pot and feed them on a regular basis. Or else you can also divide them and grow in 2 to 3 different pots. Please note, there is no need to feed them in dormancy time, means in winter. 8. Important note. How frequently should we water? During the growth, water only when the top soil looks dry. Please avoid keeping the soil too wet or else bulbs might rot. In dormancy time, if we water once in 30 to 40 days, it's more than enough. If they are planted in ground, no need to do anything at all. Football lilies are really great. 
but sad thing about them is that the bloom lasts only for few days. In case you want to grow lilies that bloom non-stop in summer, you can try growing rain lilies or even day lilies. Day lilies bloom only once per year but blooms last for many days and rain lilies bloom non-stop till December. For more info, please feel free to check out my next video. I hope you found this video useful and if you did, I would really appreciate if you give it a like, share it with your friends and subscribe to my channel if you are new to gardening upbeat. Thank you so much for watching, really appreciate it, take care and enjoy.